And then here's a regular spool. That's from number four. We've seen those. And then here's this. Um, this was in, I believe, in number. It was in either in number five or number four. Um, and it is a. I don't know what I'm going to call it. It's not serrated. It's kind of spooly. It's a little mushroomy, and that the the um, cuts are curved. I was detecting some type of strange pin in there, but um, not very severe. It only looks like it's five or ten thousandths difference, but it's enough to cause you grief. So anyway, uh, we found a cool pin, and found some interesting bottom pins. This is Alex again with the Brecal Euro Thumb Turn Cylinder, which I am now going to attempt to disassemble because I'm curious about the pins and it has been a while since I last disassembled a, or attempted to disassemble a Euro Cylinder. Okay, so I just removed a little set screw, got the handle off. Now it's not entirely clear how this comes out, but I suspect when I remove the circlip I'll find out. So I've got my trusty circlip pliers and we'll shove them together. Alright. Circlip that. Now I was hoping that this might disassemble. There's seems to be like a pin in there, but it's not immediately obvious how you would get it out. And then I'm going to have to do this the right way, which means I need one more tool. Well, this has turned into a significant fail. I got the plug part way out, and now it's completely stuck, so I've drilled the little retaining pin out of um, chamber number five and what I did is I used a whatever the drill size is you use for a 440 screw so it's a number 43 drill bit and then I ran a 440 tap in grabbed onto the little thing what was left of the little thing and withdrew it so hopefully now the whatever's in there can make its way out it chooses to, or I can just sit here and record myself being an idiot. Okay, so this is turning into a catastrophic mess. I uh, got this thing all sorts of cattywampus in here to come out, um, and that allowed me to free the plug, which we'll find out why it was stuck in just a moment. And of course it's stuck on fucking two now, even though I have this shim in there. Come on, damn it. Must be getting stuck in some little circlip related nasty thing. Oh, goody. All right. So, about an hour and two taps later, I'm going to have all five bores removed. I have two more springs and pin tumblers to try to get out of here. Okay, so when we last left our hero, I had had a hell of a time getting this lock apart. And it turns out that gives me an opportunity to do a video. Um, that I had been wanting to do. So when you have locks, particularly Euro locks, which are a pain in the ass to take apart, obviously. Um, but any any pin tumbler locks, um, and you want to like repin them or fiddle around with the pinning, whatever, um, it's kind of a pain to have to use a follower and things fall out and put things back together. So um, some locks you'll find have little screws in the top. This didn't, it just had um, uh, pins, or uh, little bits of uh, brass pin. 
Um, so what I did was I went through and I tapped this, and it ha this happened to be, on this Euro, this happened to fit a 632 um, tap just perfectly. Um, I think the American locks, what I've read is that they want eight 832s, uh, size 8 uh, screws. Um, I didn't have uh, the proper bunk screws, but um, I do have, I made some little ones out of some other screws that I have. So I'll just uh, when I I'll just reassemble the lock. I'll put these back in, and uh, and that's that. I have to shorten them a little bit, but that's kind of a cool tip. Um, that was a bloody disaster getting that thing apart. And I think what was happening is that the top pin, I can see the top pins were getting jammed in this little area, that clever little notch right there. So I needed to have this thing turned more than I did. Um, so lesson learned. So anyhow, um, yeah, so Brickow picked, somewhat destroyed, and hopefully soon to be reassembled. This is Alex. Have fun and keep it legal. Cheers.